hello guys welcome back so today we will see how we can use cursor.ai to develop a simple application i'll not say simple but what i'm doing is i already have an app which is up and running in play store and and i'm just updating that app to you know have the flight booking feature so uh, let's get see and let's get started and see how we can use cursor ai earlier my vision my thought process was completely different i have tried using chat gpt i tried using github copilot and then I tried using few more cloud AI. Cloud was a bit better as compared to Copilot and other things. But this is my personal experience. And uh, when I come to Android development, Cursor is what I feel is better than most of the tools present over there. So let's get started. Maybe I was not aware how to use other tools, but I got I got out a way to use Cursor in 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 proper way. Maybe that's the reason I feel like you can still develop a completely full-fledged production ready application using cursor so uh, this is my application which i have just started doing now uh, this application is already working in play store so um, all the recharge bill payments etc works fine on this but we are trying to use a new feature where we can give an option to book the flights no oh my god this is not um yeah sorry so i thought i closed the window so it would i would have lost this so let's get see and how we have developed this small feature but it's notable that you can still develop i did it within 30 minutes most of the things uh, using cloud using uh, cursor ai so the first thing that we have done is i have given it a prompt saying that you give me a layout along with the implementation taking design inspirations from is my trip i have given the reference as is my trip so using that what it did it it generated me an xml so this is the xml that it looks like if you see over here this is how it looks like i'll just close it down yeah this was a very basic xml that it has given so what happened was uh, the icons and other things it could not provide as usual so i have just downloaded it from the internet and uh, put it over there now what happened was this two were just an XML layout. Nothing was there. Yes, uh, when it, it generated, it generated validation as well. So it started validating this, all the fields over there, right? Now when it validated those fields, what I asked AI was uh, this. Give me a city selection and the, my city selection will be a search and select. How can I implement when can we do the implementation by hard coding the values and value uh, I have just given what will be the value array city code name etc now what it did was um, it has given me this now this was all okay it was all okay I tried it and then it given me this now this is an additional thing that it has given no other prom no other um, tool might have given this so when it gave me this option as well and it gave me with the simple array as well so with a simple array it, 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 do, it did the implementation but it has given me an option with an adapter with a custom adapter as well so this hit me okay now I got it okay now let's try a bit more on this so that's where I started using it bit uh, exclusively I like um, intense intense in, I, I used more intense now then what I did was okay this code was fine till that time now what i did was i think i missed a click i thought it didn't give you a click option because if you see over here if you see over here on this there's a this is a click option right so i thought it is not giving me this so what i asked him is i think you missed clip giving me a click action so now see the answer this is this was more interesting okay you see it explains me no if you go to a uh, chat gpt or or uh, copilot it will say oh yeah i think you i think i have missed something no but this didn't tell this it told me like this is already included in this and this is blah 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 okay and then it gave me that code also he explained me that code also and then he then it told me okay these are the things that you we did and you do not need to 
add any additional click handlers because autocomplete will automatically handle the click event so this is what it gave me now what i asked him is you have given me but let me create a custom layout for the drop down items to show more details this step is not working with the autocomplete text view so there was an error i was getting in the autocomplete text view in this code what it has given me if you see over here uh, there is a code it has given me uh, one second yeah if you see the two adapter so set adapter was not working for me so i asked him again the same prompt okay and it gave me this some things okay now what i did was i gave him the exact error okay now when i gave him the exact error it told me what is the problem we need to make city adapter implementation the filterable interface for it to work with autocomplete text view here is the corrected city adapter now it updated the city adapter right now once it updated the city adapter and it updated the flight activity also then it was working fine right now what happened was i was not getting the drop down okay uh, I, it, what it was happy, happening is uh, if you see over here i'm now i'm getting an option to search as well but earlier what happened i was not getting an option to search okay now i got confused i again asked him it gave me an updated autocomplete text view okay but it didn't work for me so i thought okay there is some intelligence also we need to use when you are using this kind of tools over there you need to have some programming knowledge that's for sure if you are experienced developer it will be very f it will be very fast for you to do these changes okay now this was bullshit i if i thought it's uh, completely shit so what i what i did was i again came back i told him the above xml changes causing ui to spread provide me the correct ui xml keeping the same design intact and based on my implementation now what it did was it gave me the exact same updated xml whatever was there it updated that xml and it gave me the results now when i tried this this worked completely fine now what i did was still uh, the autocomplete search view is not searchable now i asked him again the autocomplete search text view is not searchable in this case now he is telling okay let's fix this issue so now it when it came over here it actually fixed it okay so actually fixed it the drop down was coming everything was fine okay but there was one issue okay i'll tell you so when i clicked on the drop down when i clicked on this right when i clicked on this and i started searching for something it broken and i clicked on this it broke so i have given him just the exp um, exception lock trace it was the error was basically on the filtering the filtered list was empty and then it was trying to search in that filtered list so it got broken now what i what it did is it gave me a correct answer next time when i tried it i just copied pasted I, I have not used my own brain i don't have a brain it seems when i am using these tools okay i just copied it and pasted it right all these things i pasted and it it worked fine it completely worked fine and this is the updated version i'll show you maybe the updated version so this is the updated version i have okay so here you see the drop down is coming and if i search delhi it gives me an option of delhi now again i go back and search delhi it throws me an error you see the source and destination cannot be same right now let's select bombay mumbai okay now next problem was now this was resolved okay now next problem was maybe departure this 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 was not aligned with my theme so what i did was i asked him the dialogue is not aligned with my app theme can you make the front and the color aligned with the app theme now what i did i did an add over here and i added the files i added all the files which are required for the tool to understand okay this is the theme and that is, is that that theme is not applied on the date filter date um, date picker now what it did is it gave me a style xml now i just copied that style xml and i didn't do anything else and it worked completely fine okay and it matches if you see over here it matches that is what surprised me and I, I i am totally i am totally now fan of this tool at least and before that uh, i did one more thing uh, when i did this i was doing this first time so then i thought okay um, this is not working so 
maybe i asked him to give me the number of travelers ala adults children infant i copied the is my trip um, screenshot i gave him the uh, this thing a prompt saying that keeping this screenshot in mind and taking design inspiration from this screenshot can you help me building a pop up dialog which shows adults children and infant and the count and it gave me the pop up dialog the problem was there like the chips were not selectable so i thought that but when i actually added it in my code the chips were also selectable and the values whatever the i select the values gets reflected onto the main screen that is the most important thing which no other tools are ever doing it right if you see over here it gets reflected so this i have not asked him it just gave me by its own understanding that is where i feel it's bit more easy and bit more useful for all the development that you guys might be doing so i'll sh share you in the next video a next step of this with all these uh, all these uh, prompts and everything which i am trying i am just using a very basic english my english is not that much great but still i am using it and it understands that that is the most tricky and fun part of it right so let's see let's uh, i'll i'll post another video on this in the next next tutorial so stay happy stay tuned and download my app this is the app which i'm building it i'll also put it in the play store and this app is working fine do not click on the flight book etc it will not work as of now but over the time as if i add all more features you will get to know all about this right so thank you guys thanks for watching it i am trying to build a production ready application let's see if i can do it or not thank you so much stay tuned